Well, I couldn't stay away from another corner to corner crochet project. So I found this adorable cow dishcloth pattern on yarnspirations.com. Seems like cow crochet is trending right now. So here I am hopping on the trend. Uh, so this is done in just single crochet stitches and you carry your yarn, you work in rows. But after a couple of rows, I just wasn't thrilled with how you can see kind of that black yarn coming through the white and then the white is coming through the black spots and it just looked messy to me. So I decided to go with the um, stitch that I love, which is corner to corner crochet. So you start in one corner and you crochet diagonally um, to the other side. Now I'm doing something a little different, which is why I'm hopping on this video. So you're gonna follow this um, graph that comes in um, the pattern on yarnspirations.com. I will leave a link to that. And I'm using, um, this is a size F hook. So I size down to a smaller hook. And I am just using Red Heart Super Saver. It's a worsted weight yarn for this. And now I don't know what you wanna call this, like a mini, mini uh, corner to corner crochet, but I'm loving how it's turning out. I haven't done this before. I am using half double crochet stitches, but I'm only doing two half double crochets. And when I start, I'm only doing four chains. Let me just do it and you guys will see. <laughs> I don't want to over explain it. I just want to show you. And um, one of the benefits is that when I carry the yarn up, you can actually, so usually if I'm carrying the yarn up, I would only be able to carry it up just directly from where it was attached. But here I feel like because these little um, corner to corner crochet blocks are so small, I can actually carry it over um, farther than you usually would. So that means less ends to weave in, which I love. All right, let me get my hook back in here, see where I am. I just kind of blew up the chart. Um, on my printer so I could see it better. So I'm, where am I? One, two, three. Okay, so now I'm doing three in white. Okay, so I have to switch to white. So I'm gonna put my hook in here. All right, I'm just gonna carry my yarn all the way. You'll see. Okay, and I'm just gonna hook onto that. All right, and I just feel like it's fine. Like, you can kind of see it come over, but it just blends all right and it doesn't it doesn't disrupt that black square all right so then I'm just doing two chains and two half double crochets to make that next block okay so I'm coming down here two chains two half double crochets here's my last one two chains two half double crochets, all right. And so now I'm gonna go back the other way. So this is an increase. So I'm only gonna chain four, okay? And then in the third chain from hook, you make that half double crochet. Come on, half double crochet, third chain from hook, and then a half double crochet in the next. Okay, turn, join, look at my pattern here. So I only make two of these. All right, so now I have to switch to black according to my pixel graph chart. And I am honestly just gonna pull this. So this is from the previous um, row. I'm gonna pull it all the way down here. Now I wouldn't typically do this, but it seems to be working out well. Let me show you. So I'm gonna make two double crochets. I mean, sorry, two half double crochets in there. Okay. And now I'm just gonna hook onto that as I'm joining and then just crochet around that. So chain two, two half double crochets. Boom, easy, right? Look at that. I didn't even have to fasten off and reattach my yarn. So I'm gonna keep going. And it's just making this really cute cow pattern, which I think, so it's gonna be about double the size of this, double the length and height. 
I think it's going to make a really cute lovey blanket. So of course I'll show you guys what I come up with when I'm done, but just wanted to pop on real quick and show you this little mini uh, corner to corner crochet and get you the link to this uh, pattern because it's adorable. Yarnspirations.com.